Debbie Wasserman Schultz can no longer keep supporting this slaughter and starvation of an entire people. So we are here in the office of Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and we know that she had just been to Israel to learn from Netanyahu and the Israeli government what they think is going on. And we know she's not seeing what's really going on. So we're here to talk about what's really happening in mm -hmm. The Al Shifa Hospital, which has been raided multiple times and most, re most recently was raided for 14 days, two weeks. The officers in the IOF have finally left the complex and so many journalists in Gaza um, have been able to go in and actually see the um, carnage that they caused. And every time we feel like we've seen it all, um, it continues to be even worse than we imagined. So the reports are that at least 400 people have um, been killed by the Israeli army within the complex. Bodies have been bulldozed over, bodies have been burnt. Um, so they found a lot of limbs, a lot of burnt bodies, a lot of evidence of point-blank execution style killings. Um, and it's just unconscionable. You know, there are really no words to describe the scenes. And so the, the, ID, the IDF has claimed that it was, uh, there was no civilian harmed, and they've claimed that it was fully a uh, tactical operation um, against Hamas, and the images and videos show a totally different reality. There's clearly a targeting of civilians. You know, even after the killing, there's a lot of bodies that have been found in the yards around the hospital that have clearly been um, driven over, essentially, by bulldozers multiple times, unrecognizable faces, but with limbs. And they're still actively, while we're filming this, finding more bodies and, and more evidence of horrific things that happened. And in response to this, Netanyahu, who um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz decided to meet with, um, has now announced that he's going ahead with a ban of Al Jazeera, which is the main news broadcaster on the ground. May their broken hearts be cradled. May their righteous anger be heard. We sing for justice and healing for 